Hey everyone, I'm finally doing my video on the Chanel flat bag, which I've had since March of this year. I bought it in Greece when the euro was basically one for one with the dollar, and it was before Chanel has raised its prices in Europe. Um, I got it at a really good time, and it's been on my wish list for such a long time. So for, for those ladies who have it on your wish list, as you know, if you're going to buy, it's better to buy sooner than later just because Chanel just keeps raising its prices and not by little. It's by at least a few hundred dollars every every one or two years or so. And sometimes uh, Chanel has been known to raise it twice within a year. So, um, and again, I also would, would uh, I also would recommend, sorry, uh, looking at the secondhand market as well for these bags because there are plenty of them. And if you get one that's in caviar leather, it's pr it's probably, you know, kept its condition really, really well. So um, that wouldn't be a bad option either. But I also suggest if, you are, if you're taking a trip to Europe, obviously it is cheap, a little bit cheaper in Europe. And that in combination with the VAT refund that you would get um, would have you saving a lot. Anyways, I'm um, going to talk about three um, features of this bag that you guys might be trying to decide between. Um, first one I'm going to talk about is the size. So for me, I um, I wanted either the medium large, which is this one, or the jumbo. Uh, I really like the jumbo, the way it looks by itself, but on me, it did look a little bit bigger. The jumbo looks amazing, and it's a little more practical because it's roomier in there, but it just looked really funny on me, and it just looked really big, and just not, it just really stood out compared to my size. I'm 5'5", five five and... Um, so I, I ultimately decided the medium large, and this is what it looks like on me. And as you know, you can um, do this double strap like the way I did, or you can fold one of these straps. And then if you do that, it basically just sits at your hip. Okay. Um, I haven't worn this yet. I bought it in the spring, and I haven't worn it in the spring or summer, but now with fall and winter coming up, I plan on using her a lot, especially with... Um, I just referred to my handbag as her, <laughs> which some of you guys do, but I'm still not used to that. Um, it for now. Um, so anyways, so size I've discussed. Um, the type of leather, as you can see here, I got caviar leather because I'm not the most careful person. So I know I'd be very angry once I saw scratch marks on my lambskin, even though the lambskin is beautiful it's just so smooth and buttery looking but this is also a very beautiful leather and just knowing it's really tough and durable um, gives me a little bit more peace of mind considering the money that you spend on this bag um, next is heart um, I want to discuss the hardware color um, you really can't go wrong well with any Chanel really but with the hardware color especially it's a very um, basic question gold or silver but um, you really can't go wrong like I said even so, so I would just go with what you think looks best with your outfits because I prob I, I, I tend to wear more sort of um, cooler colors and casual colors and um, I do wear more white tone jewelry, silver tone jewelry, but um, and and you know the gold is a little bit dressier than I normally dress, so I decided to go with the silver and I think the silver just looks more modern. Um, but I wouldn't be angry if I got the gold either. Um, and even if you wear all gold jewelry, I don't think it's a bad idea at all to get this either. And vice versa, if you wear all silver jewelry, it wouldn't be bad to get the gold because it's certainly not um, an issue to mix to mix metals at all. So um, I think the size, you really do need to look at your frame. Um, and the type of leather, you do need to look at sort of just how careful you are one and how willing to you are to, or to live with small scratches and things like that so for me my frame this was better and I'm not I would not like to see scratches on this investment bag um, and I'm not very the most careful person so um, this was the better choice for me and silver just because I like the way it looks and um, yeah I, I, I could have been happy with the gold too, but I have a gold in the wallet on chain, which is also cool to caviar leather, so I went with the silver. Anyways, um, you guys know what the bag looks like, but I'll show you just really briefly. Here's the back of it with a little flap, and you can see the, the, the quilted design just goes continuously with this. Um, the front, turn it to unlock, and 
Um, this is what it looks like. Here's the zipper compartment here, which is very small. Um, not sure what I'm going to use that for yet. Here's the second flap. That gives the this bag the name Double Flap. Um, mine is burgundy on the inside, and as you can see, it was made in France. Burgundy on the inside. So, and, oh, and here's a little um, pocket here for, I might just put my cell phone there for easy access. Um, inside isn't the most roomy roomy in the world, so it would have you know room for your necess or your base your necessities like keys, wallet, cell phone, and probably just a few cosmetic items, things like that. There's two pockets here. Um, my cell phone now that the one I have is pretty big, so it wouldn't fit in one of these pockets. But I'm guessing you could put um, at least a compact or some makeup in in, in these pockets at least to um, compartmentalize them. <clears throat> Let me take this out. So you can see what it looks like on the inside, all burgundy. And that's it. Um, I don't know what else to say about this bag. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I just want to discuss um, some of the points with you. And also, actually, there is a pocket back here. It's very thin, so um, I don't know what you would stick back there. But, um, yeah, here it is. It's a Chanel flat bag. Now I, have, now I don't have to, you know, worry about... This has been on my list forever, so now I finally marked it off the list. And... Um, I'm glad I was able to do so at a good time, and I hope I get a lot of use out of out of it this summer. Or I'm sorry, this fall and winter. Yay! I finally got a bag on my list. I don't. Uh, there's a couple other bags on there, but for now, I got one off the list. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or want me to do another video on what fits in here or just an updated video after I've, I've used it for a while or anything like that. Um, again, here's the size on me. And yeah, here it is. The Chanel Double Lap Bag. Oh. All right, have a good weekend, everybody, and thank you for watching.